welcome to the next channel so this afternoon uh, i shot a video episode on uh, structnet uh, data structure uh, which you can find it in uh, include net uh, net uh, namespace uh, dot h and this is a data structure i once uh, discussed uh, in my uh, containers and namespaces uh, video episode it's not a long back uh, which you can watch the same in case if you are curious so over here somewhere as i mentioned in uh, references uh, i have discussed uh, you know this uh, data structure and uh, i discussed this uh, in uh, various aspects if you go to the data structure you can uh, find it as uh, you know the namespace uh, part the network uh, namespace part so in this context i discussed about the same so in case if you are uh, curious i highly recommend you to watch uh, even the previous episode of you know this uh, data structure uh, whatever i discussed because this is just a follow up uh, episode i would highly recommend you to watch this as well as you know this as well so in this episode i have discussed uh, mainly about uh, net ns uh, ip v4 uh, uh, data structure which is uh, been referred within that struct net data structure if you go here you can see it has this uh, reference if you little scroll down it has this uh, net ns ipv4 and uh, stuff like that so the net ns ipv4 contains the actual references of uh, sys control uh, proc uh, uh, file variables so when you go to proxys net uh, ipv4 you can find all this uh, variables so in the previous episode i mainly discussed about the you know uh, the tcp part of that you know variables because uh, it's often uh, uh, been tweaked as long as uh, whenever you want to do any tcp optimization from device to device communication and stuff like that of course you can't do this optimization if you have something like a network router or something this is only applicable if for a you know device to device communication so uh, often uh, people do optimize these uh, values so that they can get better performance if you have uh, uh, unlike this uh, lan like setup if you have a long distance wan network <coughs> optimizing the same is going to change the uh, tcp performance uh, characteristics and in that context you can tweak certain values you can change uh, some uh, you know uh, the read memory and other uh, parameters and also you can change the congestion control and stuff like that so these are the variables which has been discussed in the previous episode although i just generally mentioned about net tennis ipv4 it is mostly discussed about a context of uh, you know proc file system variables of um, various uh, tcp you know configuration or uh, uh, parameters so in this episode i am going to focus also about um, you know there are few other uh, variables you can see here you have this icmp series and you have this um, you know udp series and stuff like that you have this icmp you have this udp and stuff like that this is something uh, i have not discussed in the previous episode i thought uh, let me cover these things as well so that um, you know this follow up with this it gives that complete full picture of this uh, you know net ns uh, underscore ip before uh, you know data structure so if you go back here uh, net ns ip before it has all this uh, sys control variables and you can see after uh, tcp it has uh, you know various other variables as well it has this udp and as well as it has this uh, generic v4 uh, specific stuff and other stuff so this is what exactly and apart from that yes of course it has this icmp as well i'm sorry so it has that icmp and as well as udp and ip generic ip stuff so all these things uh, it has uh, been mentioned over here but in case if you see the real initialization part and you see the associated code it is spread across so in the case of tcp if you go here uh, let me yeah in the case of tcp as i discussed it is uh, uh, been uh, initialized in uh, tcp.c uh, but its actual references are in ipv4 tcp underscore ipv4 dot c so if you go here it has this as a quick recap i am discussing this is something uh, have been discussed in the previous episode 
So if you have watched the previous episode, you can just little skip this portion. So this is something I'm talking so that uh, any viewer watching this for the first time, they can get that overall context even before watching that previous episode. So if you see here, you have this API TCP SK in it, and in that you have all this uh, variables. You can see here net and IP uh, v4. This net is nothing but struct net, and uh, as I said, you know, let me take you guys over there. Yeah, structnet. In the structnet, you have this NetNS IP before, and this is one, you know, data structure instance within that structnet. So that's what is exactly happening over here. So if you go here, you have this. Uh, uh, let me just. I'm sorry. Let me just go back to. Yeah, TCP SK in it. You can see here net IPv4 dot. You have all this TCP uh, specific. Uh, variable initialization has been done here so this is what i said you can see all this uh, defaults which will match with this you know file values as well so this is something again i discussed in the previous episode so coming back to the udp context if you go here you have this uh, udp.c in the context of udp you just have udp.c if you go to udp.c you can search uh, you know sys control and then you can hop on to that portion. Let us see. Uh, yeah, you can see here you have this, uh, you know, yeah, the UDP uh, part of that uh, sys control. And uh, I can even show the actual place. Yeah. UDP write memory, min UDP write memory, uh, all this uh, uh, write memory, uh, min and UDP uh, memory and all these things will correspond to the UDP uh, you know, parameters over here. You have this you know, UDP. So you can see here uh, rmem min and write mem mim and UDP mem. So all these things you can uh, find over here. So this is something related to UDP. You can find uh, its uh, references over here. So this is one part and apart from that it has that generic uh, IP and ICMP part and this is something you can uh, find it in uh, you know the same folder net IP before and within that you can find it in uh, uh, net uh, syscontrol pqrs uh, syscontrol net IP v4 so if you search Versus control you can find here as you can see it has all these uh, references uh, uh, and if you little scroll down uh, yeah you can see its other uh, parameters you can see here uh, IPv4 table and it has all this uh, you know parameters so if you come down Yeah, you can see here inet init and uh, this is something if you check its source you should understand if you click this you have this uh, source in uh, net core net namespace dot c so if you go here it has been initialized you can see its source yeah inet net and you can see this is where it has been initialized you can see here its data structure is nothing but struct net data structure so this is a global variable so here it is uh, directly referring the global context of the same it is not somewhere you know initialized over here it is just initialized over there and its global context has been uh, you know referred over here so inet init uh, inet uh, net which is nothing but struct net and uh, dot ipv4 and it has this you know uh, member variable within that uh, you know struct ns uh, 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 i mean <laughs> the struct uh, net ns underscore ipv4 data structure so that's what you can uh, find over here so i would highly recommend you to go through sys control net ipv4 dot c file of course i'm going to add all this uh, series as a part of references in this episode below i'm going to add some of these references and at the same time once i uh, edit and uh, post this video even uh, this uh, video episode i'm going to post all these uh, references so that it is easy to watch this video and then you can follow up all its uh, corresponding uh, 
you know files uh, which contains i mean kernel source files which contains the data structure and the apis involved so if you go back you can see here it has this icmp portion and all other stuff so this is something you can uh, see its entire uh, sys control uh, stuff has been uh, coded here uh, and uh, down below you can go and you can see its uh, actual initialization is done sys control ipv4 in it and uh, i believe uh, once it has uh, been done you get this you know the proc entries this is the area where it gets initialized and it creates that proc file system you can see here it is actually doing this register net uh, sys control and it is creating this uh, folder path and it is creating all those uh, you know proc files uh, and other entire uh, you know path within that uh, net ipv4 folder of uh, you know proc file system so this contains the actual proc file system code and it has all this uh, you know references so i would highly recommend you to go through sys control net ipv4 and as well as uh, you know net udp.c and as well as um, you know tcp.c plus tcp underscore ipv4.c so this way you get that full picture of course as one can understand you can change this uh, variables uh, whether it is related to icmp or tcp generic ip or udp via proc file system uh, but the main objective is all about uh, if you want to trace the kernel source and uh, how these uh, variables have been uh, used and how the stack utilizes these variables apart from generic initialization you know these are the places which you can refer and of course the main data structure is uh, struct net and within the struct net you have this uh, you know data structure as i discussed in the previous episode net ns ipv4 because this encompasses the entire uh, you know v4 stack you know part whether it is tcp udp or icmp or anything you know within the same so since it is uh, something uh, related to proc file system i would highly recommend in case if you are new to kernel programming you can go here and uh, yeah you can go here and then uh, you can watch uh, some of my uh, series about uh, proc file interface uh, i shot uh, various episodes uh, how you can create a proc file how you can uh, create a write proc file how you can create a directory structure and various other samples so you can refer the same in case if you are even more interested you can also refer its you know similar access like io control api interface because always whenever you want to control any variables in the kernel space and you need to transfer any data from user space to the kernel space you can use proc you can use io control you can use any of such you know interface mechanisms With this, I would like to conclude this episode. Hope you guys loved watching the same. If you have any questions, uh, be in touch via mail. Thanks a lot for joining me. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye bye.